Yo, what's going on you guys? It is Ice Advice, and I'm back today with a brand new video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install any Battlefront 2 2017 mod for the PC. Let's get right into it. All right, so what you guys want to go ahead and do for your first thing on the list, basically to-do list here for modding in Battlefront 2 2017, go ahead and go to the Frosty Toolsuit Discord server. If you don't have Discord, I highly recommend to make it or make it, download it and create an account and use Discord. It's a very, very, very good app. You can get it on mobile devices as well as on the PC as well. So yeah, I highly recommend it as this is a very good place to get a frosty mod manager and the recent versions as well as they're released. Once you join the Discord server, go ahead and go to pre-releases here in the top frosty info here. Go there and you will see a bunch of stuff from Cade. This is the guy, the main guy for frosty mod manager. There is links here for the mod manager. So you'll see the editor, this is to make mods and the mod manager is to get mods installed for your game and be able to play with new mods. So what I want you guys to go ahead and do is press on the mod manager link right here, press on that and press continue to download. It always will say that it's a potentially da dangerous download and you will see it goes in the top right here and we'll start downloading. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this to get done and I'll be right back. All right guys, so once it is done, you wanna go ahead and go to your downloads folder. So the way that you get to that is go to this file icon here or you can go to the bottom left and type in file explorer but for me, it's in the bottom left. Go ahead and go to the downloads folder here. And here it is right here, Frosty Mod Manager. Now, what I like to do is go ahead and name what version this is. So for example, this is Frosty Mod Manager. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this to a different folder, which I'm gonna do very quickly here. I usually like to keep this file safe and in a good spot for me to be able to use. So we're gonna right click on it. By the way, you need WinRAR. I'll put a link to that in the description down below as well. Everything that I talk about uh, that needs links, it'll be in the description down below. So go ahead and go down there and find it. So there we go. We have extracted it and now it is here, right here, the folder. You can go into here and there it is. Frosty Mod Manager right there, version 1.0.6.0. So now what you wanna go ahead and do is open this thing. It'll take a few seconds to open but it, it'll open up here. We'll just give it a few seconds. And there it is. So you will not have Star Wars Battlefront 2 here. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And I'm just going to go through the full installation for you guys. So what you got to do, you can either press scan for games or you can press new. We're going to press new and we're going to go ahead and find our directory for Battlefront 2. Now this can be on any hard drive that you have plugged in. Usually it's on your C drive, but for me it is on my SSD. So my F drive. And you want to go ahead and find the Star Wars Battlefront 2.exe. Double click on that and that'll open it into here. You should see name, the logo, the name there and the path for the game. Go ahead and press select on that and that'll do its own thing. Loading catalogs, it'll do its own stuff here. Loading data from manifest. I'm gonna speed this up for you guys. All right guys, so my Frosty Mod Manager is complete. So as you can see here, Frosty Mod Manager 1.0.6.0 beta 2. So once you have that installed, you will see a lot of buttons here. We got file, we got tools, we got help, um, we got packs, we got all this kind of stuff here. The only thing that I really want you guys to worry about is this left side here, available mods and applied mods. So if we go ahead and press on the installed plugins, these are the plugins that are actually installed for this. A lot of these uh, plugins are actually required for these mods to actually work and function correctly within Battlefront 2. So that is a good tab to press on and make sure that you have these plugins installed. If you do not, you can go ahead and go on uh, the Nexus mods page, which we're gonna go to that right now, and you will be able to just type in the names of those those uh, things that you have to have installed, these plugins. So you can go ahead and press them or uh, look them up on Nexus mods and go ahead and install them. It's a very simple installation and I'll have a readme and tell you how to do it yourself. So yeah. Now let's get into getting a mod. So the most recent Battlefront 2 showcase that I did was on Battlefront 2022. So I'm going to show you guys how to install this one. As you can see, there are some requirements for this to work. Back to this, press on files. You will see a recent uh, version of this, which is 1.0.1 right here. Read mod page before downloading and stuff like that. You can go ahead and do that. Press on manual download and go ahead and do slow download unless you have 
Nexus Premium. But so once it is done, it'll be in your downloads folder. Mine is in my mods folder because I've already installed it or downloaded it rather. I have it in my instant action folder and here it is Battlefront 2022. Okay, so you can go ahead and press uh, close out of Nexus mods because we are done with that. And now you can go ahead and open Frosty Mod Manager and we're going to drag and drop Battlefront 2022 into the mods folder here. And it'll take a few seconds to install it. It's got to kind of unzip the zip file here. It's not going to paste it into this folder, by the way. It's just doing its thing to install it into uh, the mod manager here. So we're going to wait a few seconds. I'm going to speed this process up. Okay, guys, so it has finished installing. We're going to go ahead and press on the cosmetic file and then the gameplay file. So if you read the description that you actually have to put the cosmetic file before. Okay, so yeah, cosmetic has to be above gameplay. So that's the other thing I just want to quickly mention before we go ahead and boot this thing up. Some of these mods have to be placed in certain load orders. That is important to remember. Otherwise, your mod will not work correctly. In this case, without the cosmetic file above the gameplay file, the cosmetics of this mod, you will not see the new stuff. It, you won't see it. It's invisible because this is just the way the mod works. Also, another thing to mention is this mod will not work with other mods as well. Certain other mods. For example, if you are installing a new reinforcement mod, that probably will not work with this mod. You can try it, but at, more than likely it's not going to work because this mod replaces a lot of stuff in the game. So now the next thing that you want to go ahead and do, press on the launch button here. It's going to launch loading catalogs. It's going to do a bunch of stuff there. You'll see that it's just going to load a lot of stuff and kind of apply a lot of stuff, which is it's, it's just part of the process. So there you can go. We're just going to speed this thing up and I will see you guys in the game menu. All right, guys. And once your frosty mod manager has loaded, you will see that your Battlefront 2 has opened. And in this case, this has a custom intro, which I actually want to watch because it's really sick. Look at that. Star Wars Battlefront 2 2022 edition. Absolutely incredible. So that, my friends, is how you install any mod for Battlefront 2. Yeah, as you can see, it does work. We have all these custom heroes that are in this mod. I highly recommend to check this out, by the way, for your first mod. And that is it for me, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Of course, if you did, drop a like and hit that subscribe button if it helped you out in Battlefront 2 modding. My name is Icy Advice, and I am signing out. Have a good one. Peace.